Welcome back to Studio Chatter. School is out and the kids are busy playing. How do you keep them safe? With some good ideas, welcome Megan Johnson and Amanda Porter from Spanish Fork Hospital. Thank Yay. you. Thank you. you. Excited to be here. We um, love having you here. Yeah, Thank we do. Thank you. Thank you. We, we love educating the community and, and improving their health. And we've been open two years now. And we have some exciting news. We, um, two year process, just got trauma certified. No way. Um, That's and a big so, deal. Uh, so really for the community, that is a great resource to have. And Amanda is our trauma program coordinator, our Ooh. manager. And so she has a big role. And really she is, uh, she was vital to the success and the designation of this trauma and and really what that means is that we have the the resources within our hospital to give our trauma patients the best care possible oh. and then either determine do we keep them here at Spanish Fork Hospital or send them to a higher level of care. Okay, because we don't have ICU yet, right? We don't have the ICU okay, so yet. you can determine? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Oh, we're, we're, gonna gonna we're getting there, yes. But yeah. trauma coming out of the canyon, we were just talking about yeah. that, it's kind of a scary place it up is, there. It is. It's really and scary. So I imagine this is a place where we need it. Yes. Immediate mm -hmm. Yes, care. and mm -hmm. for the community to know that we have these resources. Um, it's, so what it's does huge. that mean? that you're trauma certified. Do you, Amanda, Do you want to? <laughs> so it means we have gone through the process of um, gathering all of our resources so that we are able to provide um, emergent care for patients and make diagnosis and get them to where they need to go to get the proper care they need. Oh, wow. And that could be anywhere like move, keeping them, moving them onto Utah Valley or even up to like the U or primary mm -hmm. children. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And so it's it's huge, and, and really when you think of trauma, we are going into trauma season. This is so there's summer. A season. There is absolutely I just oh, trauma that because season. Because everybody's out doing things. Because so we're doing much. more. Yes. Is that we're, what it is? We're out and we're active in the community, and this is really when the number of traumas for us in a hospital start to rise. So we start so. to get stupid. Yeah. Okay. So right? how can we? Okay. How can we're we not be using safe? our brain. We're not using our brain. <laughs> no. Can or we just protecting check that out? Yes. Yes. So I'd, I'm not going to lift it because that might just slide right off. So is that the consistency or tell us about this connection? <laughs> um, so this is similar to what our brains are like and so we really want our patients to be safe. Um, we would rather have them <clears throat> safe than be seen in, in our hospital. So um, it's really important for us for children and for adults to wear helmets to keep our, our brains protected. Are so our brains this consistency, like this soft? Do we? Do you know? They they are very soft. They're not they maybe are, quite this soft, okay, but, but yeah, that, I they are soft. They would be a little like muscly. Yeah, yeah a little more robust. <laughs> I thought it was more about personality. Uh, Some people are <laughs> hard head. <laughs> but when you talk about brains, I mean, really, we only have one, and and one of the the number mm -hmm. one injuries when you look into summer is head injuries, mm -hmm. and it's also one of the number one most preventable injuries. Oh. Um, and so when you talk about bikes and getting out and active, um, having a helmet on can really be a matter of life and death, really. Okay. And so, you know, talking about the, the helmet safety, proper safety, when do you replace a helmet? Um, those are all important conversations that you should be having and just assuring that when you go out and about that it's not just bicycles, right? It's um, it's motorbikes, it's ATVs, like scooters, it's scooters. Yeah, yeah. It's, scooters. Um, you know, there's a, there's a lot of, of things that we need to be wearing helmets for and making sure that we're protecting our brains. Well, I kind of feel like the kids sometimes will just pull a bike or scooter out of the garage and then they just kind of take off down the street, which I feel like we feel like it's maybe harmless, like nothing's going to happen. Yeah, they're just riding a bike slowly. Right, so. but you're saying all the time, right? Yes, if it has wheels, um, it doesn't matter what speed you're going, the recommendation is to wear a helmet. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah. parents need to enforce this. No one else yeah. is like, going to. Yeah, off the it's curb. This, this is on the yeah. parents. Yeah, and you really just never know. I mean, you could just be going two blocks to a friend's house and that car is going to come out and not see you. Yeah. And Backing I mean, out of driveways. You're going to hit a rock or, and you're, you know, you're going to flip over. You just, you really never know. Well, and as adults, we need to mm -hmm. be wearing them as we, well. We I need think to be we leading by protect example. the children, yeah. right? And then we're like, oh, but I'm good. I yes. rode a bike for many years. So I got what's this. the difference in some of the helmets? Like are the, some of them safer than others? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so it's really um, best to get a helmet that's right for the sport that you're going to be doing. So these two on the front are bicycle helmets. Okay. Um, and they, you can look for a sticker that's either by Snell or CPSC. Um, those are, those are safe and, and help keep us safe. Um, this 
This helmet is for mm -hmm. um, motorcycles. It's got more padding you they can have, see in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are designed specifically for sports, but there are helmets for horseback riding mm -hmm. and for any of the kind of sports that you can do. But horses don't have wheels. They don't. Just but kidding, they but they fast. are. Sure, <laughs> they're they're yes. 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 yes, they can, can send you for a, I, I had you. a horse accident actually a few years ago and I had a helmet. This horse took off running on a full run, could not stop it. I also had my video camera go on my GoPro, oh. and I'm like, stop, stop. Anyways, he decided to go this way, and I went that way, and yeah, I had my helmet, and so, so the totally brain was fine. protected. What kind of helmet but, did you choose? So it's a, a equestrian. Horse? It's oh, an equestrian okay. helmet. And um, it does look kind of funny because we had a cowboy hat made over I was, it. I was going to say, how did <laughs> the cowboy hat? So it looks like fit. a 10-gallon cowboy hat, but we had them. They're required where we went horse riding, which is good. Yeah. You should have them. And I've oh. been off horses enough times that... That you believe yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that reminds me, what other activities during the summer do we need to be careful of that would be housed under you guys. Yeah, so um, there's water safety. Mm -hmm. That's really important. So if you're out around water, um, it really needs to be a supervised activity for children that are under 14. Um, we wanna just keep them away from, it doesn't need to be a lot of water to, mm -hmm. to prevent, to be a problem. So we're not just talking raging rivers, we're no. talking all sorts of water. Well, and we've just done the, the splash backyard. pads, like all yeah. the grandkids are getting some of those, and even that for a little toddler. Probably well, right. Well, even just slips, trips, falls in the in the wet areas, you know, can can cause mm. injuries. Um, yeah. Um, you know, 14 and under, we're talking about life jackets and, and safety, mm -hmm. and just being aware and not taking your eyes mm. off kids when there's a pool or water in the areas. Um, you know, we look about uh, playground safety. Um, trampolines are huge, mm -hmm. um, and so lot lots of things to just be thinking about as you're going out and heading out this summer. ATVs and mm -hmm. motorcycles are also some of our you larger know, on, ones. On Mother's Day, my brother-in-law came over mm -hmm. to our house on a brand new motorcycle, and he had just left my mother-in-law's, and she's maybe two miles away, and we're all like, be safe, and he's like, don't worry, I have my helmet, and he starts backing out of the driveway, and he has, his, I think, just his baseball cap on, we're like, your helmet, and he's like, well, I'm just going back to mom's. And the next day, our, my mother-in-law called, or came over and told my husband, he, my, my brother-in-law lives in Salt Lake, and this, a woman wrote, ran him off the road, mm -hmm. ruined the bike. Wow. He just got road rash, thank goodness. Yeah. And my husband's been in a horrible motorcycle accident before, mm -hmm. was just wearing his ball cap. Mm -hmm. These oh, wow. save lives. Yeah, they really yeah. do. They really do. And it's never just like that quick trip, right? That's nope. usually when it could happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you need to be careful of that. And one thing really, as we as we head into summer, I mean, you all know Utah's 100 deadliest days on the road. Um, seat belts are so important. Mm -hmm. Seat belts truly save lives, just like helmets do. Um, so when you're heading out and about, just make sure everybody has their seat belts on. Okay. Something interesting about that, when my son was taking driver's ed, because I always thought, well, I'm wearing mine, and, and sometimes teenagers, when they're like, well, he's wearing his, but somebody else might not be. I didn't know that when you're in a wreck, somebody else since they're not can be like hold down, they can actually kill you flying around in the car. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So that's why you want everyone, not just like, okay, mom, I'll wear my seatbelt. No, you need to make sure everyone mm -hmm. has their seatbelts on. I didn't know that. I didn't know they that showed a video of a guy that was in a passenger seat, and by the time the wreck was over, he had moved to the drivers and all the way to the back. Oh, boy. But That's imagine, scary. But imagine an adult man flying around the car and hitting a toddler, okay. hitting a kid. Yeah, yeah. So, that's... Is there anyone on staff that can help with car seats being installed? So we, um, our, our labor and delivery nurses um, okay. have to be able to do car seat checks before infants okay. and newborns can leave the hospital. And then we're also collaborating with the Utah Department of Health and they okay. randomly do um, car seat checks throughout the community. We do have, we have collaborated with them um, to do one at the hospital in September. Um, I don't have the, the specific date, okay. but I know we will have one coming up and, and we can let you guys know about that yeah, too. That's, that's awesome. Important. It's, yeah. it's hard like, being the grandma and I have mm -hmm. two different car seats, but getting them in, oh, ooh, that's a slight tricky. workout. I'm like, do I go through here? And or then do we just really the, need the thought to do of this? if there's an accident and I don't, and I didn't put it in right, in right? oh, right. Or, and, yeah. and just the fact that they're moving as you're trying to get them in there. Oh right? yeah, yeah, makes it a lot more difficult. And then is a harness <laughs> the right way too tight, yeah, snug? Now I want to loosen it. Easier to put in there. Yes, kid, this 
all this is just really good. Very helpful. Okay, Thanks for joining um, us. the Stop Bleed classes, really quick. Yes. Is there something quick about that? Yeah, we offer Stop the Bleed at Spanishford Hospital on the first Wednesday of every month from 6 to 7. Um, preventing bleeding or stopping bleeding is the best mm. way to prevent um, death in trauma situations. So it's an opportunity that we okay. have, and anyone's welcome to come. So when you think about the sports and, and all the activities mm -hmm. out there right now, hemorrhaging, right? We right. want to stop anybody from dying from hemorrhaging. That's what this class will teach you. It's free. It's on us. Uh, offered okay. once a month. It's so one you hour. you use like tourniquets mm -hmm. and stuff? Yeah. Yep. My son Love has it. one of those and he's like, how do you use this? Yeah. I'm yes. totally going to have him come yes. yeah. to this class. First Wednesday. First Wednesday. Okay. Of every month from yes. six to seven. Yes. And where do you find So the they class? can just reach out to Amanda. Okay. Yeah, and I can leave with you. Um, we have a QR code you can sign in and right from our hospital website. Oh, Perfect. cool. Thanks we love Spanish Fort Hospital. We're so glad you guys. <laughs> Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you. Thank you. Coming up next on Studio Chatter, the Miss Utah competition is nearly here, and there is so much to do.